Good afternoon everyone, my name is Tomislav Gluvik and welcome to my third video in my plant and AC collection series uh, about creating catalogues and specs. So firstly to, to begin with, in every plant project um, you need a spec and that could either be done internally with your own company, it could be through someone on the client side, it could be just a contractor, it could be a consultant, it could be anyone who has an idea on the process um, and utilizes the PNIDs and the model as, as part of I guess their process workflow, uh, calculations, analysis, all that kind of stuff. So generally or traditionally it, it, uh, plant software has a catalog and a spec. So a catalog you can think of the large library um, of, of parts, so again like a physical library you walk in there you have a building that has all the books so this catalogues are essentially little databases that have every item in them regardless of size, shape, type, etc, uh, etc. Et um, they might be categorized by a vendor, they might be categorized by material, it's, it's really up to you, there's no real set standard there. Um, Plant 3D automatically ships with AME, ASME, AWA and DIN catalogues. But you'll see here I've got one that has Australia and New Zealand in it. To get more free catalogues inside your plant software, you have at the top right where you've signed in, there's a little shopping cart icon. When you click that, it takes you to the Autodesk App Store for that particular piece of software. So it'll ask you to sign in uh, and then you'll be presented with the Plant 3D section on the App Store with a few featured apps, popular, uh, paid apps, all that kind of stuff. What we want to look for is under Catalogues and Specs and then you can come in here and see that there's other content packs. So some might be free, some might be also paid, some might be a trial. So if you are in Australia and you want to look for the Australian standards, there's a piping content pack. Once it's installed, uh, you'll get access to some of these um, items inside the Australian catalog there. Once it's installed, you can then look at it inside uh, the catalog editor. So we can create open uh, both catalogs or specs. So a catalog is the library and a spec is a filter of that library according to certain conditions within the uh, project itself. So I'm just going to open up the Australian standard uh, pipe fittings catalog. And at the right, we switch over to the catalog editor and then we can see all of the different options for that that uh, item. So if I look up some PVC pipe, uh, I've got all of the information for the end types and I've got different values for port 1 and port 2 or I could have the same. All of our description and properties are here and plus if I click on sizes we have the uh, a handful of different sizes plus their matching uh, values, long descriptions and all of these options here. So under D it's the nominal OD, L is the length between points and OF is the wall thickness, so again you can just look at the help me files there. Once you're done with it, you can click on save to catalog and it saves it to this bottom half of the window. If I want to create new components, I can just click on create new component uh, and then it will give me a dialog box for different fittings and uh, block properties and symbology and all that kind of stuff. So we're looking at elbows, I might want to look at T's and then I get presented with all the different types of T's and I can filter through different uh, end types as well. You have a short description there, if nothing in the parametrics satisfies your, your requirement then you can click on custom and uh, basically use your own block. There is a help file here as well that you can go through and that, that, that'll uh, teach you, plus it'll, uh, you could Google it on, on YouTube and, and find um, other videos on creating custom parts. 
Also, the catalog might be in imperial or metric. Now, catalogs can be imperial or metric, but the project is the one that determines the values of the reporting. So you can use imperial catalogs in metric projects, and they'll automatically convert over. The third option is to use the catalog builder, and I won't necessarily delve into it, but you could uh, create template files and export them to Excel and then convert them over for use inside um, your Plan3D software. So the, the create new component is you know, for a small amount of objects, otherwise use the catalog builder and use Excel, and then you can do a whole range of items on mass. Um, from this here, we can also duplicate the component if we need to make a copy of it, make changes, or just delete it out of the catalog completely. We've got some filters here, so I might filter everything that's a flange that has a flanged end on it with different pressure classes, and I can filter out all of these um, uh, values in here. We've got obviously different uh, sorting features between each of the different columns. And then slowly we'll make up uh, a catalog of all the different parts. A spec is essentially a filter of that catalog. So if I open one of the out of the box specs, so just go to my C drive, plant projects, so look up um, the project I'm working in and look up CS150. Then this is the size range. So out of the box, the CS150 goes from half inch to 24 inch. We can even go through here and just remove certain sizes if we want to. Um, we can add some notes to this to a particular group if we really wanted to. Uh, we can find and even just have some some options in regards to the add-in settings. So to add a new item, so let's say I wanted to add a new valve in here. So let's do an angle valve, um, and I do want similar to what's in there now. So I can get some raised face, so flanged raised face and 150 pounds. So that gives me all of the, the, the different valves in there. So you can see here the check valve is only between 26 and 42 inch, so that's outside really our range. Um, so again we can just come in here and make, make filters. So I know that uh, I want to put some new plug valves in and then I can click on add to spec and then you'll see plug valve raised face ASME B1610 is inserted into our, our spec. So then now the spec can be uh, uh, saved to the project and then utilized on the project. The branch table editor is important because that sets up all of the uh, different options for whatever the branch connections are. So obviously a six by six is gonna have a T1, which is a T with butt weld ends, or can you do a stub in? So you can go through and edit those and adjust what uh, you will need at a branch. You have to have the branch table created, otherwise the software isn't going to know what to do. So again, just something that, to, to take into consideration in, in quoting for time uh, to create catalogs and specs for the project. As uh, the, one of the options inside plant is to have the, the spec directory off uh, on another location. I usually say to people, if you're going to do a project where you're doing a lot of plant work for a customer over a period of time and they're all separate little projects, then put their, cat uh, their catalogs and specs into a common folder for that client rather than per project. Otherwise, you're going to end up with six different specs and you don't know which is the latest and greatest. Once it's all saved, then obviously you can do a save as, you can export it out. Um, if you want to edit a catalog in Imperial or Metric, under the Catalogs button, you can edit Catalog in Metric or edit in Imperial, and you can see the uh, changes save there from Metric to Imperial as well. You've got other options in here with Catalog Properties and even the Bolt Length Mapping. So out of the box, there should be some there as well you can utilize, and plus as well, we can modify where the, um, the path is for the shared content. By default, it's on C Drive. So you have to run this as an administrator. So to do that as an admin, uh, I'm not going to save that. Just you need to start up the spec editor again. Oops. You need to right click on it and run as administrator. And then it'll run as an admin. And then you can go through and modify the shared content folder. So you can see mine is on my C drive, but you can put it on the network so everyone sees the same content there as well. So that's really it in a nutshell. Uh, I can delve into it a little bit more at a, at a later stage or if people request it. Uh, but otherwise, that's the gist of creating a catalog and a spec for Plant3D. So 
create a catalog of all your master objects, create a, a filter range to, to include into your spec, modify your branch table, save it, copy it to the project, and then you should be up and running. So for next week, uh, I'm going to start getting into the depths of our project. I've done all of the PNIDs, uh, and next week's video, we're going to cover creating 3D equipment and starting some basic layouts of our plant. Thanks again.